I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At 8 minutes past 10, time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a story of the West with Lorne Green as your host. Here's a preview. Tell me about that treasure of yours, all that gold. Uh, What's it look like? Gold? That's right. I remember. That's what I was after, gold. And you found it, too, didn't you, old man? The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Hello, I'm Stan Martin. It's sad that many youngsters feel the only way they can make their mark on our town is with a destructive act or a smear of graffiti. One building on New York's Lower East Side stands apart from the others. Its walls are spotless inside and out. The youngsters who work and play there have earned the respect of the entire city, just as they've learned to respect themselves. I'm talking about the Boys Brotherhood Republic. The BBR has been helping underprivileged boys work their way out of the slums for almost 50 years. By giving them the responsibility of governing and policing themselves, the BBR helps create a set of values which guide its members all their lives. I know because I was a member from the time I was six, and the BBR helped change my life. It's doing the same right now for hundreds of youngsters with no other place to turn but the streets. Help the BBR turn out solid citizens. Please send whatever financial support you can to the Boys Brotherhood Republic, 888 East 6th Street, New York, 10009. Thank you. Ahoy, this is the captain of the Captain and Tennille, Daryl Dragon. I have a tip for young people wanting a career in electronics or science. Amateur radio is a fun way to break in. I know several ham radio operators who learn so much with their hobby, they ended up as successful engineers or teachers. If we're to keep pace with the rest of the world, we need young men and women to study electronics. You see, once you earn a license, you'll be able to talk directly on the air to interesting men and women who've made it in all fields, such as doctors, judges, lawyers, baseball stars, and even in show business. I meet lots of them in television studios. The scientific types, by the way, have designed and built satellite relay stations, which are circling the globe right now. And hams have amateur television and teletype, too. Hams help each other as well as the public. Whenever disaster strikes, amateur radio operators usually are first to be ready with emergency communications. It's a true public service. And there's no age limit. You want to know more? It takes a bit of study, but it's sure worth it. Write Amateur Radio, Newington, Connecticut, 06111. This is Lorne Green. Used to be that's how you began a tale of the far west, with the sound of horses' hoofbeats pounding across the dry, blowing sand. A clean sound to be blown away in the wind and leave no rude tracks to mar the golden sands of time. No more. Now in the New West, a different breed of men ride a different breed of horse. (laughs) Man, this is something, ain't it? You and me, and nothing but sand and sky everywhere you look. Like we're lost on the moon or someplace, you know? It's like the edge of the universe, all right? Don't look like nobody's been here before us. No off-roaders and nobody. Uh, don't look like it. Ain't no tracks but the ones we're making. Here's where we make our mark on the world, old buddy. Let's go! <laughs> No cactus. Some kind of shack, looks like. Maybe we aren't the only ones ever been here after all. Still don't see no tracks anywhere. Whoever it was must have come and gone a long time ago. Well, let's have a look, all right? Why not, man? <laughs> Maybe he left a nice cold beer in the fridge, right? <laughs> man, this ain't no more than a few boards nailed together. Not fit shelter for a coyote, hardly. Anybody ever lived here, you ain't likely to find him alive. Hello? Anybody here? Well, you come then, have you? I figured you would sooner or later. Huh? Well, look, me and my pal here, we were just riding by. I know. I heard you. We didn't think anybody really lived here. You didn't, huh? Figured this was unexplored territory, did you? 
Well, there ain't an inch of it I don't know like my own skin. I'm old, land's old, and we're out here together. But who are you, anyway? I'm the caretaker. That's who I am. And that's only the beginning of our story. Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Old Bones, by Shirley Gordon. Our star, John Daner. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. It's here! It's here! The Great American Paint Sale is here! Now, save three to five dollars on the same Sears paints that help preserve the homes of John Paul Jones, Betsy Ross, and other great American homes like yours. Save five dollars on Weatherbeater satin exterior paints, now nine ninety nine a gallon. Save three dollars on Easy Living flat, ceiling, and semi gloss interior paints, eight ninety nine to nine ninety nine a gallon. The Great American Paint Sale is here! Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Fill up on sunshine in cool, colorful sundresses from Sears, each so different. With shoulders bare or gently draped, in flounced or freewheeling lines, with details such as ruffles, smocking, and ribbon accents, too. Each a splendid sip right out of summer, in vivid solids, glorious prints, or clever combinations you'll have to see for yourself. So soak in lots of sun, in lots of sundresses, because each sundress is a great value, too. In misses and half sizes, from Sears Dress Department. Sears wants to break the ice when it comes to buying a Kenmore refrigerator. So we're taking $50 to $100 off three models through June 30th. You save $100 on the 19 cubic foot side-by-side and $70 on the 17 cubic foot top freezer refrigerator. Both have automatic ice makers and Sears exclusive humid drawer. Save $50 on a Kenmore 17 cubic foot refrigerator freezer without ice maker. All are frostless. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Go west, young man. Advice offered and followed a long time ago. And today, young men still ride out to meet the challenge of the new west and find, waiting for them with patient, pale, grizzled faces, the ghosts of the old west. How do you live way out here? In the middle of nothing like this. Nothing, you call it. How do you eat? <laughs> After all, there ain't no wheat field out there, you know. Nope, sure ain't. So? Once a man sets his mind to it, he don't need much. And if he comes to know the land, the land provides. Land can kill a man when it has a mind to. That, too, if you let it. More likely, it's a, it's the man does the killing. You call yourself the caretaker. What are you taking care of, anyway? This old shack... Ain't nothing but a heap of old timber gone to rot. What do you mean the land? All that sand and cactus out there, you figure it's all yours to look out after? Just said I was the caretaker. I didn't say nothing more. I know. That's what we're asking. Let him be. What does it matter anyway? Ah, the old guy's probably freaked out. Been out in the desert sun too long. You have any water to spare, old man? Our canteens could do with a refill. Water? You show me a man who can stick around out here without water, and I'll show you a humpback camel. <laughs> he ain't so freaked out. Well, you uh, give us some fresh water, and we'll take off, I guess. Be unwise, I'd say. How so? A big blow coming up. I can smell it. You'd be riding straight into a sandstorm. Don't seem to me staying here under this pile of boards would make much difference. Shoot yourself. He's been out here a lot longer than we have. Maybe we better listen to him. You don't have to listen to me. You just listen to that wind coming up. Yeah, I think he's right. We better lay over a while. But then it'll be getting dark. You mean stay here all night? If we have to. Day or night, don't matter. Pretty soon you ain't gonna be able to tell the difference. Come on in. (laughs) 
You see to your horses, did you? <laughs> you ought to try riding one sometime, old man. Yeah. Might grow to like it. <laughs> if it don't throw you. Well, I'm going to have myself some stew. You're welcome to join me if your stomachs ain't particular. What's in it? Don't remember. Uh, got a Milky Way in my pocket. It'll do me fine. I'll have some of you stew, old man. Don't look like it's done you any harm. Cheers. Old bones. What'd you say? He said old bones. Well, what about him? Well, you asked what was in the stew. Oh. You, uh, want to split my Milky Way? you boys, but I'm ready to turn in for the night. Night? How can you tell? We haven't seen the sun for hours. When I feel like turning in, it's night. There's a couple of blankets over there in the corner. Help yourself if you want. Leastwise, they was blankets. Uh, looks like we're stuck here for the night, all right. Well, it's better than being stuck out there someplace. Could have ended up in the old man's stew. Exactly. Wind's letting up. Long time. We can leave as soon as it's light. Right. I remember. Long time ago. That old man. Uh, never stops talking even in his sleep. I guess maybe he's dreaming about the way it was. The way what was? The West. The old West. Yeah, well, he can have the way it was. Horse manure and flies. Give me a chopper any time. Yeah, I hope ours weathered that sandstorm okay. Maybe we ought to go out and take a look. Nuggets, buried treasure. Hey, man, you hear what he just said? Bury my buried treasure. Yeah, I heard. That old man's got a treasure buried someplace. Nuggets, he said. Well, it figures. He was an old prospector. Maybe he had to strike ones. And buried it. Right out here someplace. So what are you thinking? Are you going to go out and start digging up the whole desert to look for it? Well, not the whole desert. There's no reason we shouldn't just take a look around here before we go. Come on. Oh, you're crazy, man. Even if the old guy got a buried treasure around here somewhere, we ain't gonna find it. You never know. And even if we did find it, it wouldn't belong to us. Oh, come on, man. That old goat in there is gonna stay out here in no man's land till he rots. He ain't got no use for buried treasure. Well, we ain't got no chance of finding it. We ain't. Unless we start looking. Words out and spreading fast about the jeans from Sears Men's Store that grow beautifully. It's a sure sign they're feeling fine and feeling good. For the denim that keeps going strong a long time. Get them trim cut, regular cut, even get them pre-washed. The jeans that grow beautifully. Now at most Sears retail stores. Dear, today I found the bedroom suite of my dreams at a great price. That's a coincidence. I found one that has all the features. Well, mine has authentic country styling. So does mine. Does yours have a beautiful 26-step finish? Nothing but, and I get a choice of 13 different pieces. All built to last for a long time? Yes, with sturdy tongue and groove construction and dovetail jointed drawers. <gasps> Is yours Sears, Sears open, open Hearth Bedroom, bedroom furniture? furniture? Sears Open Hearth Bedroom Collection. Expert craftsmanship at a reasonable price. Select from 13 different pieces. Now at most Sears retail stores. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears Super Guard Steel Belted Radio Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. In the West, as in every place else, the old must give way to the new. But some things never change. Man's nature, for one. Across the centuries, from the time when the land was crisscrossed with the rutted tracks of rumbling wagons, to here and now, with its network of concrete freeways, 
Man's response to certain words remains unchanged. Words such as love and death and gold. There ain't nothing here but stuff that's no good to nobody anymore. Except in this. Figured he'd had to have a shovel around here someplace. Well, he has to dig the sand away to get out sometimes, I'll bet. In the hands of an old crazy like that, a shovel is for burying things. Burying his treasure. Nuggets. You heard him. Yeah, I heard him. But he didn't say where. Bet you it's right here. Right around this old shack someplace. Hey, man, it's going to be light any minute. The old goat will be getting up. Well, what are you going to tell him we're up to? It don't really matter what we tell him, does it? There's two of us and only one of him, and he ain't nothing but a crazy old man. You boys, you're up early. Couldn't sleep much. You jab her a lot in your sleep, old man, you know that? Nobody has to listen. But it might do somebody some good if they did. Yay, all these holes you're making, what do you figure you're up to? Oh, it's good exercise, digging. And you never know what you might find. Suppose so, but you just be careful where you dig. There's some place I don't want dug up. There is, huh? There is. What good is something you got buried way out here ever going to do you? Whatever does somebody good is nobody else's business, providing it don't do nobody else no harm. Who's talking about doing anybody any harm, old man? Well, nobody is. That's right. And then why don't we all have some breakfast? Well, what do you got? Always got some stew. Then what did I tell you? There's some place you don't want us to dig. All we have to do is find out where. Decide on some breakfast after all. Yeah, I couldn't resist some more of that stew of yours. Yeah, what about you? That would you come in for, too? No, I ain't hungry. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'd say you strike me as a hungry man. You mean greedy, don't you? Oh, greed. Now, that's something to watch your step about. It's like a snake with 16 rattles. That's right, old man. Better watch your step. Well, don't you worry. I've killed my share of rattlers in my day. Your day was the day before yesterday, old man. You ain't looked lately. It's already the day after tomorrow. I don't count my time by days no more. Uh, speaking of time, we're wasting hours. Come on, Bob. Time you and me made tracks. Leave this old man out here all alone? No telling what could happen to him? And who'd know the difference? Well, there was nothing left but a pile of old bones drying in the wind. None of us ain't gonna come to more than that anyway. The only difference is some of us are gonna come to it sooner than others. Where is this place you don't want us to dig up, old man? If I don't want you to dig it up, ain't likely I'm gonna tell you, is it? Come on, Bob, let it be. Used to have me a little old bulldog. He was stubborn. He'd get his teeth into something and there wasn't nothing could make him let it go. Nothing. And I learned to be just like him. Ain't nobody can be more stubborn than an old man. Especially a crazy old man. Where is it? You sure you don't want to try some of my stew? Where is it, I asked you? Oh, give it up, man. There's no way you can make him tell if you don't want to. Oh, yes, there is. You feel like telling me yet? I... I, I used to have me a burrow... Stubborner than any little old bulldog. I learned from him. You are crazy, old man. Hey. Old man, what are you trying to do? Kill the old guy? Now, what good did that do us? I ain't gonna kill him, but if you don't wise up, old man, you're gonna wish I did. Oh, man, you're the one who's gone loco. I'm getting out of here. No, you ain't. We're in this together. I ain't in anything. Let go of me. Look, you'd like to get your hands on those gold nuggets, wouldn't you? Not enough to kill somebody. I ain't gonna kill him. Like you said. What good will that do? I was just wearing him down till he felt like talking, that's all. Well, you do whatever you want. I'm moving on. No, you ain't. Well, you ain't gonna stop me. The hell I ain't. You... Let go! Now, what are you trying to do now? I told you, you ain't leaving. Let go, man! Get off that bike. <laughs> Stay clear, will you? Anything you say, man... Bob! Bob! 
Help me, man. Feels like I don't have no leg left. Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. Where do we stand in the cancer fight? I'm Kirk Douglas, and in my work as an American Cancer Society volunteer, I've learned that we're saving cancer patients who might have been lost only a few years ago. These additional lives have been saved because of advances in research. And it's particularly gratifying to know that some of our greatest strides are being made against the kinds of cancer that strike children and young adults. This is not to say that we're close to conquering cancer, but we do have the knowledge to save one out of two cancer patients if the disease is detected and treated in time. And each year we're able to save more and more patients. As one leading scientist said, I believe there's an end to the road and I'm confident that we're going to get there. Help us get there. Please give generously when your American Cancer Society volunteer calls. Remember, it's your American Cancer Society. You've changed, Bernard. You're not the man I married. What do you mean, Francine? Remember the way you were? Vulnerable? You made mistakes. But now, look, you're confident. Everything you do turns out right. It's that book you sent away for. It's just a catalog mm. from the Consumer Information Center. It lists more than 200 federal publications you can send for on building, fixing, eating... Buying, selling, working, playing, living... And more than half of them are free. Yes, Francine, the man you married is gone for good. Mm. All right, Bernard. But would you make just one more mistake for old time's sake? All right. For you, oh. I'll just replace that window glass like I used to. Whatever you do, learn to do it better. Send for your free catalog. Just write Consumer Catalog, Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. Francine, send for that publication on first aid. What was that address? Pueblo, Colorado, 81009. The old-timer pulls himself up from the floor of his desert shack and gingerly feels the raw, swollen place on his left cheek. While a short distance away, his young assailant painfully extricates himself from under his fallen, mechanized horse. There has been a confrontation between the old and the new, and so far, it appears both are the worse for it. <laughs> hey, you smashed up your leg pretty bad, all right. <laughs> Just help me up on my other one, okay? You think you can ride on my shoulder back to the old man's place? I'll see to your bike later. No. Okay? Okay. All right. Now just hang on. I'll walk easy. For damn sure. Now just hold on a minute now. We're almost there. Hey, old man. You in there. We got some trouble out here. My pal's been hurt. You hear me, old man? We need you. My buddy here, he hurt his leg pretty bad. So, the rattler got himself bit, did he? Rode into a boulder. Where's his horse? Did you have to shoot it? Look, can we come inside, see what we can do? Don't put yourself out in that old man. I ain't killed every rattler I've come across. Come on, let's get him in on the cot. Oh. There. It's cleaned out pretty good. Yeah. A few drops of this ought to finish the job. Whiskey? Where'd you get that? I save things for when they're needed. Of course, this may sting a little. But... Yeah, and resetting this bone ain't gonna feel so good either. A couple of drops of that whiskey on the inside might be a good idea. He's right. Take a good swig, man. Okay. Go ahead. I can't say I ain't gonna relish this a little. Now, now, e <laughs> Here, man. You better take another swig. He's had enough to do with him. I told you I save things for when they're needed. 
Here, you tear this into strips while I find something that'll do as a splint. Leastwise, you got one thing in your favor. You got young bones. You ought to heal pretty quick. Not quick enough for us to get out of here for a while. Unless I ride out and bring back some kind of help. Here, yeah, wait a minute now. Here. Yeah. Yeah. There's your splint. Well, ain't pretty, but maybe it'll do the job. I guess you figure I owe you some kind of thanks for all this. Yeah, just as soon you wouldn't. I found me a skunk caught in a trap once. I pried him loose, fixed him up, and you know what kind of thank you he gives me. Well, that ought to do it. Let's see. Oh, uh, 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 <laughs> Sounds as good as ever. You're a miracle man, old buddy. Yeah. I can't perform any miracles in that leg of yours. I'm getting your wheels back ain't gonna do you no good. Now, there's no way you can ride out of here for a while. No. Seems like I'm stuck with the old man's stew. Where is he, by the way? I don't know. Gone off somewhere again, I guess. Look, I, I better do like I said. Ride out of here and come back as soon as I can with my pickup. I can fix you up a bed in the back of it so she can make the trip out. Where'd you say that old crazy's gone off to? Out there someplace. Calls it his front yard. Yeah. Well, it ain't his. And if he's got something hid away someplace out there. Finders is keepers. Well, you sure ain't in no shape to go hunting for it. I ain't, but you are. Next time he wanders off, you follow him and see what he's up to, okay? Well, I can't think of much else I could be doing as long as I'm here. I'm still here. And I still remember. And that, that's what matters. Nobody can make the world turn around and go backwards. I ain't asking it to. Can't bring back something that's dead and gone. I wouldn't want to. But somebody ought to always be around who ain't forgot. Ain't important who. But hereabouts, looks like it's me. I'm here. And I remember... seen nothing like this country before. Have you, Pa? No, son, I never. Can't hardly believe I'm seeing it now. You think maybe I'll, I'll get so used to it I'll, I'll forget how it looked the first time? I don't know, son. Some things stay with us forever. There's no telling what things are going to be. Come on, Spurs. Attaboy! Oh, Spurs. I remember you all right, Spurs. Great golden-winged beast. Oh, we flew across the land, you and me. Josh? <laughs> Lily? Is that you? I remember too, Josh. Ain't nobody called me by my Christian name in a long time, Lil. I remember too, Josh. Oh, but you ain't here no more, Lily. I'm here, Josh. It's a long time ago. I know. Everything. Long time ago. Lil? Is that you? Relax, old man. It ain't the dead come to life. It's what are you me. doing out here? Oh, got just as much right as you. Well, yeah. I suppose you do. Didn't know you was having some kind of private meeting. And didn't stop you none from butting in, uh, did it? Who's that you was talking to? Your old sweetie? <laughs> Guess maybe you thought you was really something once. Oh, huh, old man? You and that pal of yours. I suppose you think you're the, the, the only ones who was ever young. Whoever loved a woman. Whoever felt the call of this land. No. But it's our time now. Your time is over. Time. It don't matter. As long as 
you remember. All right, old man. I'll leave you alone with your memories, since that's all you got left. See you back at the shack. Long as I'm alive, I ain't ever gonna forget. So, then what was the old man up to? <laughs> He's having himself a secret rendezvous with an old girlfriend, that's what. Huh? Her name was Lily. She and the old man must have really had something good going once. What the hell are you going on about? Oh, you should have heard him standing out there talking with her, thinking they was all alone, just the two of them. <laughs> I mean, they didn't know I was there listening to them the whole time. Wait a minute. You better ride out of here first thing tomorrow before you're the one who needs help instead of me. Okay. When I come back with the pickup, you let me load you up and take you out of here, right? Right. And leave the old guy in peace. That's right. Buried treasure or no buried treasure? Well, now, your little errand of mercy is going to take you a while, isn't it? Who knows? Maybe by then the old man and I will have worked something out. One way or another... Clinging jerseys, tight satin tops, they only look good if they hug your body smoothly. Sears Best Abra Light helps you and your clothes look good. How? Abra Light has no seam cups and straps adjust in the back so you look great up front. Whatever you do, whether it's dashing around town or simmering with disco fever in that slinky dress, it's flattering fun with the Sears Abra Light. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Honey, I can't sleep. Maybe you should try counting sheets. You mean sheep? No, Medley Sheets from Sears in so many great colors from light to dark. Rest easy knowing your bed looks fantastic because Medley Solids come in up to 24 colors like Indian Copper, Royal Blue, Lemon Yellow, and Jungle Green. But don't just count them. Mix and match them with Medley Pattern Sheets and Cases for a designer effect. Then dream in color tonight. Available at most larger Sears retail stores in the catalog. Here they come. More values from Sears, like a $1.44 pull-on shorts and a $1.99 tank tops for women. They're colorful polyester tank tops that slip on neatly over the double-knit nylon shorts. Shorts with elastic waist and stitch front creases. Just watch them go. Sears $1.44 shorts and $1.99 tank tops for women. All set for action. Hurry in while quantities last. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Lorne Green again, and here's the concluding act of Old Bones. I'll be back as quick as I can, all right? Don't hurry on my account. You take care of yourself, old man. Don't concern yourself about me, young fella. I've been taking care of myself so long, it's got to be a habit. I'll see you, pal. Watch out for boulders. <laughs> Well, old man, looks like it's just you and me. Never did hear tell of it before. What's that? A desert rat holed up with a rattler and surviving the experience. What are you fixing to do now, old man? Go wandering off again? Figure your old sweetheart's still waiting out there for you? You want to eat, don't you? Stew pot's getting low. Need to rustle something up. I'll be back before sundown. You ain't gonna find me holding my breath waiting for any more of that stew of yours. Damn leg. Where? 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 Where's he got it, Ed? Buried, he said. Under the floorboards, maybe... that you out there? I can't. Can't open the door. Hang on. I'm coming. I'm 
afraid you'll you'll have to to help me if you can. Uh, what happened? Well, well, was expecting to be bit by a rattler, but wasn't expecting it to be a real one. Jeez, yeah. your leg. Uh, it's swollen twice its size. I think maybe I've, I've had it this time. Oh, no, you ain't. Ooh. Like I said, you're no good to me dead. Ooh. Just hang in there, old man. It's my turn to play doctor. Yeah. First, I, I'm going to have to cut you open. Yeah. Can't say I ain't going to relish that. Yeah. No, it's too late. But help yourself. <laughs> Have a little water, old man. Where is it? That buried treasure of yours. What good is it going to do you if you're dead? You hear me, old man? You ain't going to die on me. Not without telling me where you got it hit. Is it right here? Inside this shack someplace? Somewhere under these floorboards I've been pulling up? Where, old man? You have to tell me, you hear? Yeah, I, I remember. You better remember. You you told me, Pa, the land, take care of the land. Don't start your rambling again about things that don't matter, things that are past land. and done with, all dead and gone, old man. You understand? Lily? <laughs> your old sweetheart, she's dead and gone too, understand? It's all right, Josh. I'm here. And even if she wasn't, she wouldn't have no more use for an old broken down heap of bones like you, old man. Can you hear me, John? Hmm. I'm right here. I am tired, Lil. I know. I told you, old man, there ain't no Lil here. There's only me. It'll be over soon, Josh. The pain and all. Well, it ain't so bad, Lil. Nothing's bad. As long as you're here. It's just a fever, old man. You ain't got no sweetheart no more, and she sure as hell ain't here in this old shack. Do you remember how it was, Josh? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to, Lil, but it's getting hard. I told you, old man, I ain't gonna let you die. Not yet. It was beautiful, Josh. Remember? You were beautiful, Lily. Snap out of it, old man. Do you hear me? You still are beautiful, Lily. Hair. Like the sun, eyes like the clean blue western sky. Even if your sweetheart was here, she'd be just as old and gray and broken down now as you, old man. I love you, Josh. I love you, Lil. Stop it, old man. You hear me? She ain't here, I said. And if you are here, go away. Leave the old man alone. Rest now, Josh. Don't worry. I'll stay right here. I won't leave you. I'll never leave you anymore. Oh, I, I know that now, Lily. I know that. Mm. Old man? You still with me? Huh? Yeah. Tell me about that treasure of yours, all that gold. Uh, What's it look like? Gold? That's right. I remember. That's what I was after, gold. And you found it, too, didn't you, old man? Uh, I come out here to the desert. I was I was all alone then. That sweetheart of yours, Lily, then she didn't stick by you after all? No, no. I wasn't all alone. Not once you struck gold, you wasn't. Nobody's alone once he's got himself a fistful of gold nuggets. Hey, nuggets. That's right. I ain't forgot. And you ain't forgot no. what you've done with him. Uh, right, old man? Where you uh, buried him. No, no. I ain't forgot. Right next to this, this old shack of mine. By that old barrel cactus. Well, that's... now, old man, that's more like it. I'll get you another drink of water on that one. Uh, Here you go, old man. Uh, All we have to do now is wait for my pal to come back. Uh, uh. Hey, 
You hear that, old man? I am about to be rescued. And thanks to you, me and my pal are going out of here a lot richer than when we came in. All right. Welcome back, man. Hey, pal. You okay? You know, you hadn't known to be on that leg, you know. Man, I ain't hardly been off it. How come? Where's the old man? He ain't here. But he ain't good for much just now. What happened? What's the matter with him? Rattlesnake bite. Don't look at me. It was a real rattler. Ask the old man. He'll tell you. The hell he will. He's dead. <laughs> Digging. This is where he said it was, all right. Right by this old barrel cactus. How come he finally told you, I wonder? Uh, maybe because he knew he was dying. Yeah, it's funny. An old-timer like him letting a rattler get him. I suppose you're thinking that I hobbled out on that desert, found me a rattlesnake, and told it to bite that old man. No, uh, I don't guess you did that. I did everything I could to save his life, man. Even sucked out the poison. Yeah, well, that must have been before he told you where his treasure was hid, right? I did all I could. After that, there wasn't anything else anybody could have done. Yeah. Well, I guess it don't matter anymore. The old man's dead. There's nothing going to change that. That's right. He's dead. And he ain't got no use for gold anymore. But we're alive, and we sure as hell have. So get back to digging, will you? Uh, I think I've hit something. I told you, man. Well, don't stop now. Wish I could take over that shovel. Oh, relax, man. I'm digging up this desert as fast as I can. Whatever's under here ain't going anywhere. Well, have you found it? Yeah, I found it. Well, lift it out. Let's see. There's nothing to see. What are you talking about? You just said... Some old bones. That's all there is, just, just some old bones. Are you sure? But you, you heard the old man mumbling about his buried treasure. Nuggets, he said, remember? Yeah, I remember. Nuggets is all, he said. He didn't say nothing about any gold. Well, he talked about his buried treasure, didn't he? Yeah, and, and we just naturally assumed that had to mean gold. Well, I sure didn't figure Nuggets meant some old bones. I remember I followed him out on the desert that time. The old man talked about a horse he had once. He called them spurs. So, what's that supposed to mean? Well, look at these bones. You can see it was some kind of animal. So maybe the old man had another horse once. A, a horse called Nuggets. Or a burrow, maybe. When he was prospecting. That's it, I, I bet you. Nuggets. It's a great name for a burrow. It ain't no bling name for nothing. And if you were an old man all alone on the desert, and your burrow up and died on you, the last thing on earth that belonged to you? I guess you'd call it your treasure, all right. <laughs> your buried treasure. That old man. He was out to trick us right from the start. Even when he knew he was dying, he sent us out here to dig our way to China all for nothing. I don't know. Maybe he just figured that was the only way he could get us to give him a decent burial. That's it, old man. That's all we can do for you. Except maybe say a prayer or something. We could sing a hymn, too, only we ain't gonna. I remember when I was a little kid, my mom used to make me say my prayers at night. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord, my soul to keep. Amen. There's your prayer, old man. I guess it'll do. It'll do. Let's get my bike on the truck. Get out of here. In a minute. Well, what are you going to do now? I thought I... thought I'd put up a grave marker. A grave marker? What for? Nobody will ever see it. Well, just the same. Seems there ought to be something to show that that old man was here. Sandstorm will just come along and cover it up. Let me have your knife. <laughs> Some of that old man's craziness wore off on you for sure. <clears throat> well, what are you putting on it? You don't even know the old man's name. J-O-S-H. 
Josh. That's what she called him out there on the desert. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's. <laughs> Okay, you all set? I'm fine. Let's go. Right. Hang on, man. We're off. Let her rip. Lily. It's all right, Josh. They've gone. We're alone. They wear them in Alaska, in Texas, in Maine. Wherever the territory's tough, the kids wear Sears tough skins. The toughest jeans in Sears tough jeans territory. Fashioned from a permapressed tri-blend fabric so tough, kids can actually jump on trampolines made from it. Sears tough skins in boys' and girls' sizes. Now in latest spring colors, styles, patterns. Brushed finish, too. You have tough kids, Sears has tough skins. Only in the children's store at most larger Sears retail stores and through the catalog. Sears National Automotive Sale. Dirt inside your shock absorbers can cause them to fail. Get Sears Heavy Duty Plus Shocks with a self-cleaning wiper ring. On sale now, only $7.99 each. You save 20%. Installation available. And save now on Sears SuperGuard Steel Belted Radial Tires. Steel Belted Strength, Smooth Ride, Radial Performance. Super Values too. Save $40 to $76 on a set of four. Sale ends June 30th at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. Sears, where America shops, invite you to apply for the Sears credit card. It gives you credit in over 3,600 Sears stores coast to coast. Whether you live or travel in any of the 50 states, there's a Sears store where you can shop for what you need for your family, home, or car. You can apply for the Sears credit card at any Sears store or by calling this toll-free number now. Call 800-526-0444. That's 800-526-0444. New Jersey residents call 800-652-2777. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Old Bones was written by Shirley Gordon, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Lorne Green. Our star was John Daner. Featured in the cast were Stephen Markle, Lou Horn, Virginia Gregg, and Barney Phillips. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. Hi, this is Phil Esposito, and for me, the game is hockey. Whatever your game is, whether it's on ice, a tennis court, a golf course, whether you're a pro or an amateur whose sport is just a hobby, you know that sports are a big part of life throughout the world. But for many people with MS, multiple sclerosis, sports are something other people play, not them. Many can't even watch their favorite sport on TV because MS affects vision as well as speech. Some MS patients can't even walk or move. MS is the mysterious crippler of young adults, striking usually between the ages of 20 and 40, much too young to sit out the rest of your life in a penalty box. Still, the sad thing is, there's no cure yet, but there's hope for a cure through research. I'm proud to have joined the Athletes vs. MS team. Now, how about you joining us? Support your local chapter of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. This is Phil Esposito saying thank you. Like the wind, we feel its effect, but we cannot see it. It touches each and every one of us without exception. Young or old, rich or poor, black or white, it's something we all have in common. Tension. When we are unable to cope with tension, it can turn against us. It can make us fail.
fail at our jobs, fail our families, and most important, fail ourselves. Learning to cope with tension is a never-ending process, one that begins at birth and continues to the end of life. It's one of the keys to happiness and good mental health in our time. This is Cliff Robertson. There are few of us who wouldn't welcome solid advice from a good friend on how to deal more effectively with our tensions. That friend can be your mental health association. Contact them for a copy of their pamphlet, How to Deal with Your Tensions. Tomorrow's Sears Radio Theater will be a comedy with Andy Griffith as your host. Let's listen. Where's Vietnam? It's right next door to Thailand, where my girlfriend, Siri Kit, came from. <laughs> this is the lady from Bangkok, the one you almost married? Right. Say, man, you, you got a good memory. Yes, Siri Kit, I, I really cared a lot for that woman. So be sure and tune in tomorrow to the Sears Radio Theater.